helping you protect your family as millions of folks look for treatments for diabetes. 7 News anchor Katie Moore is highlighting how one facility is looking into a new way to help folks with diabetes while helping health care costs stay down. In New York State, almost 2 million people are living with diabetes. It's about 11% of the adult population. The American Diabetes Association says another 5 million New Yorkers are pre-diabetic, and diabetes can lead to a number of problems, including poor circulation, even limb amputation. Treatments can be expensive, but there's one office that's starting to see positive results using a hyperbaric chamber to treat some patients, and they're working to keep the cost down. Let me show you how it works. It looks like something out of a space movie. But for Joe Skinner, this hyperbaric chamber is what helps save his life as he knows it. They were talking about amputating my toe, my metatarsal, maybe my foot. Joe was diagnosed with diabetes about 20 years ago and lately has had numbness in his feet. A wound that developed under his toe last year brought him here to Buffalo Vascular Care. I didn't feel the pain like I normally would have because I was on a mild neuropathy medicine. I just knew that there was an irritation down there. And, you know, my wife looked at it and she goes, get on the phone. <laughs> and I did. I had the best phone call I ever made. I specialize in uh, revascularization or bringing blood flow to these feet or the toes. Joe saw Dr. Azir Iqbal, who helped bring blood flow back to his feet and toes. And he said, you had 15% total circulation in your three main arteries. Now you have 100%. My right leg feels like it did when I was 28 years old. He was given medicine for his wound, then as part of his treatment had sessions inside this hyperbaric chamber. It exposes patients to pure oxygen in a pressurized environment. When they're in the chamber, they, it takes about 10 minutes to get to, to depth, which is about 33 and 66 meters deep. The chamber increases the amount of oxygen your blood can carry. It helps with circulation and healing. It kills bacteria. It, it also promotes growth of new uh, uh, small blood vessels. You're watching YouTube videos and movies and whatnot, you know, and you're comfortable in there. Every joint in my body was cracking, like five chiropractors were in there stepping on me. After a whole bunch of um, wound care visits, uh, my, my wound completely healed up. Wound centers are available in many hospitals, but this one is in an office setting, and that makes a difference to patients when it comes to cost. Traditionally, anything that can be done outside a hospital costs a lot less. And we've noticed that a lot of insurances um, are charging hospital-based fees to go into wound centers, so people are paying out of pocket for treatments three to four hundred dollars a time as a copay, whereas we're an office-based practice and, and we don't have that. Joe hopes his story encourages other people living with diabetes to see their doctor and look into treatment options. I would have lost my leg. Not not my foot, not my toe, not my under my knee. I would have lost it probably up to here. It was actually in a weird way like a godsend that that wound happened because without that wound happening, who knows what could have happened with my whole leg. Katie Morse, 7 News.